whoever said it's not about the destination at all but all about the journey has to be talking about spiti with landscape changing every 10 kilometers the 10 hour bus rides were all spent glued to the window the vastness of the desert mountains water coming down from glaciers and flowing in a turquoise blue river roads are scary to death and all you can do is have faith and thank mother nature for letting you get a taste of it spiti a trip that was not for the faint hearted but after just having left my job for full time vlogging i needed just that something that would not only test my limits but send me back way stronger with the best warm up it's a trip that will make you work a lot feel out of your comfort zone for when you reach people will be eager to share the warmth of their homes with you and suddenly you'll be just fine if not better grateful that it happened happy to have found this new courage After flying to Delhi, we took an HRTC Volvo to Shimla. It took 10 hours and we reached by 5 in the morning. At 5:30, we had taken another bus towards Rikongpyo. The bus staff was super sweet and offered me the front seat when they saw me vlogging. We saw an amazing sunrise from all angles possible. There are two ways to Spiti, through Shimla and through Manali. We chose the former because the altitude increase is gradual and it lets you adjust to it. So we started from Shimla and we came back through Manali. last indian village on the tibetan side i've been traveling from 8 in the morning yesterday and right now it's 2 pm we are in the middle of nowhere because we were supposed to get a bus or a cab from this place which is called kamchar kamchar something like that <laughs> to chitkul where we have our booking for tonight so yeah it's three of us and we have no idea how we are going to get there uh, and if we make it in time for the sunset or to be able to enjoy that place a bit because tomorrow we are anyway leaving for the next destination so this thing about the thing about city trip is the itinerary is such that you have to travel every day so you have to make small stops and just travel for the rest of the time good oh bad back which is very heavy because i have my camera gear So we had lost all hope. We were planning to go to Kalpa 
within these two kind men. Give us a list. <laughs> Welcome to Chatkul. <laughs> so we finally made it to Chatkul, and it was the longest journey I have ever done, and it involved the maximum number of different legs, flight, metro, bus, 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 and then hitchhiked with two guys, as you saw previously. So yeah, finally we are at Zostel Chatkul. It's a very pretty property, and I think at a place like this, no property can be non pretty <laughs> if you may but anyway i'll just give you a small tour so so let's start from here aaj aaj <laughs> so that's our room a very simple dorm four bed dorm uh pretty spacious washroom and they have also given us these cupboards to keep our things safe on this side we get a really pretty view of mountain there are also some covered in snow up there but down there they also have some tents um i think they are pretty elaborate tents and then down there is the seating area and even there that's my friend megna <laughs> गए और मैगी नहीं खाई ऐसा हो सकता है so we just came to this other cafe where our friends are staying and it's so pretty the common area is also very pretty can i have here हिमालयन ड्राइव के पीछे वाले देखो <laughs> I forgot to introduce my friend. Meet Meghna. Hi. <laughs> so we met in a solo travel back in 2016, 16, 16 something. We went to Gokarna and we have been friends since then and we took our husbands for a trip to after that yeah. yeah. And we met when we were single. Ha. Ah, then, <laughs> then we both got married. <laughs> and for sath mein bhi hum trip pe gaye goa and this is our third trip together this is my only friend outside of college or work or traditional ways आज इट मजा आ गया दिस इज लाइक दिस इज लाइक ये जवानी के बारे में लुगड़ी दैट्स नो दिस इज दैट शिट बंद कमरे में तब तब ऐसे करते करते वहां पे बस ऐसे ही कुछ देते थे वो एक होल था उसमें से बस गड्ढा ले लिया उन्होंने बैठ बैठ के मोबाइल पे तो बस और वो डिवाइन मानते हैं मतलब वो एक रात में यहीं से कहीं चले जाते हैं उनके अंदर स्पेशल पावर है और वो इंजीनियर थे अगर एक इंजीनियर शिफ्ट हो रहा है तो ऐसा देखते हैं ना 
Originally plan was to stay in Chitkul for one day. Then when we reached here, we were so tired that we decided to do it for two days. But now we are feeling fine, so we'll go to Kalpa, stay there for a day, and then move on. आपको चाट में भेजा है क्या? So remember this area we were here yesterday, trying to find a bus till Chitkul, which we never got. And it was three of us. So me, make now my friend, this guy Dhananjay, who we met on the bus, and he has been following us around. <laughs> But then came these two angels, <laughs> and they gave us a lift, and we just never let them go. So like we have been with them and their car. So next stop is Kalpa, and we are all going together. Yay! So we are a group of five now. It's so nice to meet people from a completely different world. Like these two are from Rampur, which is like very close to this area. This area, <laughs> and they have apple orchards, and they all have lived a completely different life. In the next episodes, we'll visit. tiny villages of kalpa tabo kaza langza hikim and so much more if you like the video make sure to leave a comment and subscribe to the channel it will mean the world to me special shout out to my friend meghna for being the best travel partner and taking care of a lot of small small details while i was busy making my videos Thank you for watching.